Hey, what is going on, y'all? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Snapchat on your new M1 MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. And before we move on, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you do have an M1 chip in your MacBook and you're not rocking an Intel chip anymore. So to do this, just go up to your Apple logo and then click on About This Mac. And it should say Apple M1 right here. And if it says Intel or something else, then it's um, definitely not going to run iOS apps. But if it says Apple M1, then you're all set. Okay, so to begin, you're going to want to open up one of your web browsers and you're going to want to type in iMazing. And you're going to click on the first link that comes up. And then once you're on their website, just click on free download. And then it may ask you if you want to allow this to, this um, website to store files on your device, and you're just going to want to click on allow. And once you do that, it should start downloading. And once it's done downloading, it should pop up in your downloads folder, or for me in Safari right here. You're just going to want to double click on your download. And once it's verified, it's just going to open up into this window right here, and it should say iMazing 2, and then it's going to ask you to drag iMazing over in your Applications folder. And once you see it's done copying, you can close out of this window, and you can close your web browser. And now you should see something like this on your desktop, and this is no longer needed, and you guys can just eject this if you want. So to eject it, you're just going to want to right-click on it, then you just click on eject. And now we can head over to the applications folder and look for iMazing. It's right here. You're just going to want to double click on it. Click on open. And we're going to continue with the trial for now. You guys can go ahead and buy this if you want, but you really don't need to for this tutorial. And now it's going to ask you to plug in your iOS device. Here you're just going to want to go ahead and grab your phone and you're going to want to grab a lightning cable and you're just going to want to plug in your phone to your laptop. So just plug one end of the lightning cable into your phone and plug the other one into your laptop and on your phone you should see something saying trust this computer. You're going to want to click on trust and then you're going to want to put in your password. And it should say pairing successful and if you don't see something that pops up saying trust make sure your phone is on and on the home screen. Because if your phone's locked, it won't even ask you to trust it, and it just won't do anything. But once you click trust, put your password in, it should bring you to this screen, and you're just going to want to click on later. All right, so now you can see your phone's over here, and now you're just going to want to click on this down arrow right here, and go down to apps, and then you're going to want to click on manage apps. Now scroll down to your desired app in this tutorial I'm using Snapchat. Okay, and once you find Snapchat, it's going to say download available. So now what you want to do is you want to right click on this and you're going to want to click on download to library. And then you're going to want to put in your Apple ID. And once you do that, it should download right to your computer. And once it's done, there should be a green check right here. So now you can go ahead and right click on it again, and you're going to want to click on export IPA. And you can save this wherever you like on your computer. I'm just going to save it to my documents folder since that's the easiest to access. And now you're going to want to head over to your documents folder to find the IPA file that we just downloaded. And you can see it's right here, Snapchat. and you can see it's version 11.8.1 .1, and that is the same version right here 11.8.1 .1, that we just downloaded now and you can see it's at 9.57 p.m. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double click on the app and then it'll install on your laptop. Boom, you can see how quick that was and now you're just going to want to double click on Snapchat to open it. And now you can just sign in with your account. And there you go, guys. You can see Snapchat is fully working. And you should be all set up to just use it as it is. And if you guys have any troubles, just let me know down in the comments below, and I will do my best to uh, get back to you all. And if you can't get iMazing to work, I can upload an IPA file to Google Drive, and I can just have that uh, available for you guys to download. Hopefully this was quick and simple, and I hope you guys enjoy your new apps that you've just installed.